What's up guys, it is T-Ball and I'm back with another video. So today we're going to be going over three changes that the Cavaliers must make to win game two versus the Indiana Pacers. So before I start, if you want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. So the Cavs got blown out by the Pacers at home in game one and it was not pretty as the Cavaliers could only manage 80 points. They had no answer for Victor Oladipo and they couldn't get any threes to drop. So with that being said, let's go over three changes that I think the Cavs should make for Game 2 to tie up the series. So first up, I think they need to play Jeff Green less. Green played very poorly today, but that wasn't the only problem with him. The Pacers decided to rotate and double guys driving to the paint, leaving Jeff Green wide open for threes. This strategy worked to perfection as Green went 0 of 3 from 3, and it allowed the Pacers to clog up the paint and give a better contest on shots in the paint. Green played 27 minutes today, and the Cavs cannot afford him to go 0 7 and put up 0 points, and honestly that's pretty pathetic. Green's minutes should be cut to around 15 to 20 minutes per game at most in my opinion, as his inability to knock down wide open threes allowed the Pacers to take advantage and prevent easy buckets in the paint. This situation reminds me of when the Warriors played the Grizzlies back in the 2015 NBA playoffs, as when the Warriors were down 2 games to 1, they decided to switch up their strategy and leave Tony Allen open at the perimeter. They gave Tony Allen wide open shots, where he was unable to hit open jumpers, and the Warriors double teamed other players and packed the paint, and this strategy allowed the Warriors to win the next three games. The Cavs need to cut down Jeff Green's minutes, or the Pacers will continue to exploit his lack of shooting. So for my second change, I think Jetty Osmond should get some minutes off the bench to provide some energy and take some of Korver's minutes if Korver is still not 100% healthy. Korver only played 4 minutes today, so there's definitely something wrong as Korver usually plays around 20 minutes per game. So if he can't go in game 2, I think Osmond should get some minutes off the bench. As he could hit the 3 and most importantly, I think his energy and activity on defense could be very effective in guarding Victor Oladipo. The Cavs had no answer for Oladipo today as he got to the basket almost at will and he also got open shots from 3. Osmond is very active on defense and his length may bother Oladipo and possibly slow him down. The Cavs should at least try this out, as obviously whatever they tried today, didn't work. So for my final change isn't necessarily a change, but what a player must do for Game 2, and that's Kevin Love to be more aggressive, as he finished with only 9 points on 3 of 8 shooting. He is the second scoring option for the Cavs, and the Cavaliers need him to score at least 20 a game, because he's usually the only real consistent scoring option behind LeBron James, as we saw during the regular season. Without his scoring, the Cavs won't have any other players who can consistently give that extra scoring punch, that they desperately need since Irving was traded. Love needs to be more aggressive in getting more shot attempts from 3 and getting more shots in the paint as well. I'm looking forward to seeing Love get more shots and hopefully hitting more of them in game 2. But overall, I wouldn't be too worried if I were a Cavs fan just yet as they won't shoot this poorly in the next game as this was honestly probably their worst game of the season. Also Oladipo won't shoot this well all series, but the Cavs definitely need to put more effort in trying to contain him better in the next couple of games. The Cavs need to pick up the energy and start hitting some more shots to get back in the series and tie it up in game 2, and I think they'll do just that. So that's a wrap, thanks guys for watching, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more daily NBA content just like this, be sure to drop a like and subscribe and also be sure to turn on post notifications so you can stay updated on when my newest video will be coming out. Also drop a comment down below on what you think the Cavs must do to win game 2 versus the Pacers, let me know as I do read all comments and I'll definitely try to get back to most of you guys so once again thanks for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys soon for my next video peace